I found that there are contests out there from mullet the contests. Yeah, yeah, mullet contests out there from the states, like Midwest, uh, down south, all the way to Australia. And Australia is a land of the there mullet. There are legends in yeah. the Mullet Fest. And one of the things I, I took from it is that it's all about defying convention but radiating autonomy. Yeah, Let me man. break that down. That's, a, that's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of <laughs> unpack that because I, I don't even know if I follow. Yo, Longhairs, welcome back to another episode of The Main Cave. I'm El Garvinsky, joined by my favorite long haired brethren. El Travia, so great to be here. Also great to be here yes, as sir. well. Today, what are we going to be talking about here? Uh, I think we're going to be talking about the mullet. How's that, how's that sound? It sounds great. You know why? Why? Because you are one of the oh, yeah, yeah. best mullet advocates. And even though I donated early. Yeah, where's uh, your hair, man? Where'd it go? <laughs> what happened to it? I'll save that for another blog post or maybe another episode of Main Cave. But for now, uh, getting back into it, I had long hair for 14 years. And I decided to donate early. It was just time. Yeah. The right, when the timing is right, you are compelled to do the right thing. Yeah. You know. But getting back into this mullet thing, I might even consider it. Yeah, uh, recently, we published a really dope blog post yeah. called uh, Mullet Over, Party, Business, or Both. And on that specific blog post, I dove deep into history, some of the cultural aspects, uh, some hate. Or, or the flack that it gets, but I would like to interview a mullet guy like yourself, who is a huge advocate. Yeah. And uh, let's sure. start off with uh, what was the biggest appeal for you? Um, you know, I just I think we went over this a few times. I don't know if it was in the new video we put out with me actually getting the mullet. You know, the how to cut the mullet yes. video. I forget when. Maybe it was in the blog post. I forget. But I really, I really wanted the ability to not wear a hat anymore. You know, I think Lynn, I think, I think El Moreno covered it where he said the best way to get through the awkward stage, if you're not really feeling how your hair looks is to just put a hat on. Yes. You know, throw a hard lid on. And, um, I just, I wasn't too thrilled with how my hair looked without, you know, a hat. I wasn't really, it, it was just a very awkward length. You know, I didn't get my regular trims like I know I need to be getting now. Yeah. Um, you know, it had been over two, almost two and a half years since I got a haircut. So I was just kind of feeling, you know, not the greatest about how my hair looked. With, obviously, I thought it looked really cool with the hat on. But, you know, you can't. I had, you know, I had either you know, parties or just more formal events I had to attend. And I was just like obviously what better way would I be able to attend a formal event without wearing a hat by getting a mullet? Like, uh, obviously that makes sense, but yeah, dude, I see no. that man. <laughs> full on, full on authentic, uh, authenticity, yeah. uh, full authenticity and confidence brought in without having to use a hat. And I like that. Sure. Yeah. You're able to groom your hair to go in a certain way that spans warrior tribes from ancient times till the modern day pop star, it's awesome. actually rock star, modern day rock star. Uh, so. Anything you want to add? No, just being like, like I kind of said, being able to have that more neat appearance in the front yet yeah. still have that, you know, I don't even know what word I'm looking for. Look, have that, have that really, really nice yeah. majestic look in, be able to donate. And we'll, we'll probably get into that. Um, but just have, have that, have that long hair and you kind of can fit into both, both parties. It's a little bit easier to go undercover with the mullet, you know, not having that super long, long length on the top. You can kind of, I was actually doing it earlier. I had the, had the beanie on. I always, yeah. I always like to kind of go undercover when I rock a beanie. I love that because yeah. you clearly proved that it's not just a hairstyle. Thank you, it's a lifestyle. It is, yeah, it, uh, for, to a greater or lesser extent, <laughs> more so for sure. You know, you can't, you can't can't get in a conversation with anybody yeah. you knew without somebody either saying you have to sweet mullet or why the hell did you do that to your hair like it's never it's never very like okay nice in like act like it's not there it's it's definitely a focal point when i'm when i'm meeting new people oh dude i love that um what's also interesting too about the mullet is that 
from different perspectives. Everyone has their take on it. For sure. Uh, what I found to be uh, really passionate for myself uh, in doing research and putting this blog post together yeah. is I found that there are contests out there from mullet the contests. Yeah, yeah, mullet contests out there from the yeah. states, like Midwest, uh, down south, all the way to Australia. And Australia is a land of the There mullet. are legends in yeah. the Mullet Fest. And one of the things I, I took from it is that it's all about defying convention but radiating autonomy. Yeah, Let me man. break that down. That's, a, that's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of <laughs> unpack that because I, I don't even know if I follow. So basically when you, when you're okay, when you have something clean up front and you're just saying that, yo, I'm business. Yeah. But when you have that long hair and you're saying that you're ready to party, you're ready to rock. Yeah. You got to know what you're talking about. You got to, you got to accentuate that. You got to radiate uh, that all the way. And what I saw from my research and seeing the mullet contest that happened year round, uh, not year round, but yearly, is that this is what we're about at the long hairs. And just having that unapologetic confidence. Yeah, those dudes, I, 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 I know exactly like, the guys who go into those mullet contests, they don't, they don't just kind of get like a moderately stylish mullet like I yes. kind of did where, you know, it looks, it looks like it blends well. Like they'll straight up get, get like a lineup yeah. in the front. They'll shave Chevy logos, American flags into the side of their head and have the most just out there. They'll get, some of them will have like the really super, super straight, yep. like Healy style hair, or you'll get like the <laughs> jet black curls that'll be going down. They look like Yummer Yager. Either yeah. way, those got like, I don't even know if I would do that. You know, like, that's that's where you got to put a hat on, not for like, you know, my I don't like how my hair looks. It's like, damn, you're walking around in public looking like that. But I'm glad you brought that up because what's sick about it and in the way you carry it is that it looks yeah. sick naturally. It's like um, it's the accessory without rocking an accessory. And yeah, yeah. I want to dive deep into the next part, okay. which I found really fascinating is having the best mullet nicknames. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy has a dope beaver paddle on yeah, his definitely on his heard that one right a couple of times uh what else do you got that are some of your favorites um definitely definitely the skullet for the older guys you know they, yeah. they they're starting to get the old cul-de-sac up top nothing nothing is cooler than an old guy with long hair and he's like i am not letting go of this <laughs> the skullet um What's his name? Pete Weber. Yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, bowling the, the champ, bowling dude. legend. Who do you think you are? Uh, I am. Is he, no, no. You got to do the gift. The, 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 yeah. Who do you, he rips his glasses off? Who do you think you this? are? I am. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, uh, dude. What else do we have there? What's that say? Let's go. The Let's rip ape it. drape. Dude, ape drape, uh, man. I, I, I didn't get that one, but yes, I can see the, you know, you see a, a, the head of an ape. You, uh, know, you see the way his hair naturally falls in the back. Uh, Kentucky Waterfall. The OG Tennessee Top Hat. Woo! Yes, sir. Yeah. Shagnack <laughs> Warrior. Bridge and Tunnel. <laughs> this is great. You Colorado know, Avalanche. What, what do they say? Is it just this is stereotypical? Like, oh, business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. I had some haters on the Instagram comment section. I said, do That's not, what do not go back right and now. forth with me in the comment section. I am not about to go back and forth with you. But. <laughs> This guy was like, "Oh, the mullet looks awful." I was like, "What do you want me to be? You like, kept your hair party in the front, business like in the back? Like, dude, that is so 2008." Guys, we understand the emphasis yeah. and how emphatic you guys are about having long hair. We're all about it, and yeah. the mullet is just one variant, and it's not for everybody. Mm -mm. But when you read our blog posts and you see how some of these guys can be so passionate about this thing. I would say it's debatable. You know, you, some the mullet can be fucking awesome. Yeah. Bleep that out if, if you can. Don't. Uh, but well, let's go on here. We got Camaro Cut, the, the Miss, Cam <laughs> Mississippi Mud Flap, the, the Dixie <laughs> Must. No, the Dixie Dust Mop. And then the, the Missouri Valetary Bonus. Yo. You gotta, yeah. I don't know. You got to say it like, how is it? Daniel Ricardo says it. Valtteri Bottas. I can't, I can't do it Bro, right. Bro, dude, dude, adding Sicario the flavor, knows. That is sick. Well, he, he's like. <laughs> I think he's like Finnish or something. He's crazy, but yeah. I think once I go, you know, after after the great cut, yeah. um, got to cut my hair real short. I'll do the I'll do the Valtteri Bottas mode. Yeah. mullet. His is tight. Yeah, I'm I'm not here to pretend. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a huge 
pro at mullets, but no. just I'm not either, dude. I I have this. it. I'm not. And then seeing actually going with you for the cut. Yep, that was getting great. the trim. Uh, I learned so great. much. And if you guys, which I know you guys have, all the nicknames for mullets, drop them in. You could even create them. Throw it in the comments. We love seeing shit like this. Yep. Other than that, uh, man, if you ask me, the mullet never went away after the '80s because. People are still rocking them, and especially after uh, during COVID, right? And that's where you kind of yeah. came back. That's where it. that's where the length came from. Yeah, was was the COVID grow out? You know. Yeah, uh, if you were to choose one, you know, out of our selection here, um, um, and I'm referencing the blog post, we got the classic course. mullet, com- comb over mullet, the curly mullet, shag mullet. Not the shag. Uh, no, honestly, 80s. dude, just for a little bit, I would love to rock the old, the old Joe Dirt, the '80s mullet. Come on, the pump door on the top, you know? Sissy boy, Def Leppard sucks. <laughs> no, I love I, the Joe Dirt mullet is like, that's the peak of mullets, you know? Like, I don't, I genuinely can't yeah. think of anybody else who's like, all right, you think a mullet, that's the guy who comes up in your head. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, again, like I said, that that really short Valtteri Bottas mullet, mullet is really cool, but yeah. that's, that kind of more so pertains to like if you got short hair, whereas. Like, I, I genuinely don't think I've ever seen, like, I, I, you know, not to talk about myself, but I don't know if I've ever seen in person a longer mullet than mine. Like, uh, I was over at my cousin's house the other day. and Big up yourself, man. I, you know, I was, I hadn't seen my cousin yet, but I was talking to my aunt and she was like, oh my gosh, she has a mullet now. I hate it. It's so bad. <laughs> and then I go inside and I finally see my cousin. He's like, dude, you like the cut? And I like take off my hat and he's like, dude, it's a mullet and a half. I'm like, it's honestly... He's a believer now feel, or what? No, I feel like, honestly, he could probably rock it better than me. But he just has to grow it out, you know? It's not super easy. Like, it takes a while. It, you can't cut the back. It's just like long hair. You're probably, deep inside, you're, you're mm-hmm. curious, right? You're, you're curious, like, yo, what would it be like if I had that, you know? Would the, would the chicks start coming up? We don't know. Like, we'll, we'll Can the, confirm the start that's going, how like, yo, happens. That's fucking sick. You know, we don't, we don't know. But the main thing is that you pulled it off. And I actually did have a mullet nice. back in uh, 2007. Um, oh seven, and I still had the plugs on like my the, ears. The, at the Osiris time. days, the DVS yes. with the baggy jeans days. Yes. Don't call me out now, but yes, that, that was the that move. Was that. Um, I I definitely wanted to point out some of my favorites too. Uh, the curly mullet. I want to give a shout out to yeah. Van Dam and AC Slater or uh, Mario Lopez. Uh, the, <laughs> especially if you saw Saved by the Bell, yo, that guy was really he was the guy, and then. Um, Chuck Norris, man, the mustache oh, of and, course. The, and the mullet, the, the mustache-mullet combo. Deadliest combo. Dude, and then uh, this is just off the blog post, but I had to pull in Kenny Powers, my guy Kenny Powers. I mean, the perfect combination of a-hole and just cool guy. So yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a deadly combination for comedy. But um, other than that, man, do you think – Guys, you know, if they're curious, you know, what, what tips do you got for them if they want to try to grow a mullet? Uh, grow a mullet? Uh, um, a gullet. I'll, I'll, dude, I'll go with the San Diego Gulls, dude? Yeah. If rocking a gullet, the dude, gullet. you got a mullet while you play Gull- hockey? Gulliver, gullet, if you're dude. listening to this, <laughs> get the Gulliver mascot a gullet. And dude, a gullet. It'll raise your revenue tenfold. Yes. Don't quote me. Nah, a um, few tips, honestly. Yeah, from your experience and all that. Throw a hat on until you're confident enough to wear your hair out. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, if your hair feels like it's not long enough to cut a mullet, it is. I've seen super, super short mullets. Yeah. If you really want it, go for it. It's hair. It, your hair is going to grow out in the next few months anyways. Like oh, yeah. Honestly, we cut my hair a few months ago, and it's already almost not looking like a mullet anymore. Obviously, like if I, I style, I'll style it a certain way, and it yeah. will. Um but it's definitely one of those things you can kind of play around with. There's so many different styles to it that it it kind of creates this this look where it can look a lot more flamboyant one day, the next day it can look neat. It's it's one of those things you can kind of play around with and that's one of the, one of the facets about it that I do like is you know, like I said, it it's very multi-dimensional. It's not just like, all right, I'm going to wake up with this buzz cut and have a buzz cut every day. Yeah. Which don't get me wrong, I've been thinking about getting on your flow a little bit not gonna <laughs> lie but maybe that can wait another few months you know maybe till the great four yeah um but it's one of those things i don't i don't necessarily i wouldn't say it takes confidence to wear i more so would say maybe the mullet gives you the confidence like it's one of those things where i can see that i've never had a haircut and then been like you know i i mean i've definitely not felt some of my haircuts yeah. 
but getting a mullet, even if they kind of screw it up, which I've never had a screwed up mullet. Yeah. It's one of those things you can't screw up. No. It's a piece of art. But it just kind of it kind of gives you a little bit of a boost where it, you keep that length in the back and you're like, all right, I still have some really, really nice hair. Yeah. But you just feel so much more fresh up front. That Okay, so besides having that, yeah. uh, I want to add in to support your fact sure. is that it was also functional too. If we look historically, um, even uh, from the Mongolians to yeah. the South American warriors, uh, but specifically, let's pull from the Greek history. Yeah, um, We had uh, warrior tribes from, uh, I'm going to call out the our guys over in Greece, the Abantes tribe, okay? Shout out to all my Greek viewers. They you know, had this, know. without naming it, the mullet. And they would they wore their hair, you know, short in the front. Yeah. And it was to prevent enemies from grabbing onto the front of their hairs during the battle. Yeah, you're going, look at that. Because you're charging, right? You're getting in a toe-to-toe combat. You yeah. got a mullet. Good and luck it, pulling your hair. And, right? and also the functionality, right. <laughs> and also the functionality of having the long hair in the back just flowing to block UV. You know, yeah, keeping natural, yourself warm. Natural right? sunscreen in the back of your neck. Yeah, so. I love it. So, yes, I had to say it gives you confidence, but yeah. the thing is, imagine, now you have that functionality, so while you're fighting, and, and or, you know, whether, whatever you're doing, you're playing sports, yeah. and I think this is champ, it's dude, hilarious. that yeah. provides that extra layer. I don't think, I don't, so. I mean, don't quote me, obviously, I could be wrong, but I don't know if anybody's ever tried to justify a mullet, aside from how it looks. Like, we're out here <laughs> talking about how, like, how this would be in practice, and not yeah. just on paper, and that's, that's great, you know? I gotta ask you, though. Yeah. Given the fact that you've done the mullet a few times, of course. Me being an advocate of my homies over at the warehouse, would you join the mullet classic, the mullet contest? No. You don't want to represent you, USA, I, yes, dude. Yes, USA. I would. I would. I would do it. I feel like I couldn't do it while I was while I'm donating. Ah. Uh, because yeah. if I'm donating, yeah. I want to keep you know some really good length at yes. least from mid side to back. Yeah. However, if I'm going in and I'm gonna do like some crazy mullets, it's I'm going I'm going almost skin on the side. Got to You have to. It's necessary. You got to do like a design, some sort of shave design on the side. My friend, I had to yeah. interject you there. We did go on. Shout out to Shelby Shears who yeah. had done your mullet. Of course, she did mention. She's great. That if you have a mullet, you can still donate because one of the things is that yeah. they're not going from the crown; they're going from uh, the this part, the back yeah. down, and that's where you're counting the eight inches and above, eight to fourteen inches. So uh, having, uh, you know, you didn't have to do do what I did to donate. Yeah. You can go straight, yeah. You know, just because drop it. Like she said, more often than not, they're not pulling Boom. from, you know, right. how, pretty much your scalp at the top yeah. of where your forehead is. It's the crown down from the back. Yeah. Man, so. this is a great topic, dude. Yeah, this is nice. Pleasure joining. We're talking me. about so many different facets. Yeah. Uh, so many different, you know, aspects you. of this. It's great, you know. Yeah. Pleasure having you here. Pleasure having yeah. you guys here. And we will see you at the next episode. It'll be great. Other than that, you got any other uh, last liners here? No, just if if you think about if you're thinking about the mullet, you know, you're on the fence. You're not some hater in some Instagram comment section. Yeah. You know, you're not playing some little violins like, <laughs> dude. Cut it. It like what? Mull it over. Ge- you ge- mull it over. You genuinely do not over. have anything to lose. What do you? What do you got to lose? Nothing. Nothing I mean, yeah. yeah. Just cut it. Just cut it, dude. Just do it. All right, man. Ready? Let's go. See. <laughs>